In this video, we'll show you how to create a responsive mobile menu that will look amazing on any device in just a few minutes. Hey everyone, it's Zach from Teleport HQ, the collaborative low-code platform that automatically writes and deploys code so that you don't have to. We'll use one of our cool templates again that we've prepared for this project beforehand. The first thing you need to do is to go to the left panel in the Elements tab. From there, drag the navbar element to the top of the project. Now, if you look in the Layers tab, you'll see that the menu is already composed of a desktop menu, a mobile menu, and a burger button. Next, let's take a look at how customizing the desktop version works. We will begin to style this placeholder menu to fit the project. Remove the logo from the menu and add text. Drag it to the top of the container and from the right panel, change the color to white. Give it a font size of 32 and finally change the text. We'll go with character as this is the project's name. Next, select all menu elements by holding shift and change the font color to white as well. Now you can delete one of the buttons and change the text for the right one. Let's move on to editing the mobile menu. If we look over our media queries, we'll see that the mobile menu collapses at 767 pixels. We can change that from the navbar setting but the default works just fine for our use case. While we're here, we'll also give the mobile menu a sliding animation and change the color of the burger button. Select it, go to the right panel to the background and select the color white. Now, to edit the mobile menu, go to the right panel to the navbar settings and click on the show option to display the mobile menu. We will be editing the desktop media query. Select the mobile menu and change the background color. Delete the logo, add a text element, and drag it to the top of the container. Change the text to character as before, change the font color to white, make the font size 32 pixels, and add the medium font weight. Select all the menu items just as before and make them white. Remove the left button and change the text on the other as we did in the desktop version. Finally, let's make the close button white as well. And that should do it. Now it's time to preview it and see if it works. Go to the mobile media query, select the menu, and click preview in the navbar settings. Click on the burger menu, and yeah, it works perfectly. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how easy it is to create a responsive navbar for any project. Please let us know if you found this tutorial useful in the comments below. We are working on more tutorials, so subscribe to be notified when those videos are published. See you in the next one.